Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson and welcome to Project Management Tips. Do you create checklists? If you don't, you should. They're very useful. There's a lot of great information out there about why checklists are so good. And I use them for pretty much everything. I even have a checklist on my iPad here. I don't know if you can see that, but essentially it's for getting ready for coffee in the morning at night. So what I need to do to set up in the kitchen so in the morning everything just goes really easy. I find when I use the checklist, I don't miss anything. I find when I don't use the checklist, there's two or three things I always end up forgetting and then it kind of disturbs my flow. Uh, but on construction projects, I'm a professor of construction management and I do a lot of consulting in this area. It's imperative, you know, for safety, for schedules, for a lot of different things. You can't remember everything. And checklists ensure a certain quality expectation is being met, provide you with a process and system that's very easy to follow. It's easy to actually teach others to use it. And it fits well with continuous improvement processes as you can always evolve and develop your checklist from wherever they are. It doesn't mean adding a thousand items to the checklist. You put the most relevant items that are helpful for you. And I thought in this short video, I'd just explain how to create a checklist in Microsoft Word. You'd think it'd be really, really easy that it would just have a button. I know in my uh, iPad, uh, for example, you just click on the notes and there's just a little icon there that you click and then it puts the buttons there for you. You probably won't find that right away in Microsoft Word because uh, it's not one of the options that's shown on the menu. So the easy way to fix that, and once you fix it, then you're good to go. And then it is actually very easy. Um, you just go to File, the tab. You go to Options, select on Options, and you go to where it says Customize Ribbon, right? So Word Options, Customize Ribbon. And you may find that uh, you either have uh, the icon over here or if it's over on this side, I don't think it will be, but usually it's on this side for main tabs. So you see here it's under main tabs. You'll see the developer icon. And so you check that checkbox, they have it there. And you click OK. And before I do that, look along the top menu. You don't see one called developer there. And we're gonna click OK. And now you do see one called developer. So if you click on the developer icon, uh, you'll see that there's this little checkbox here and that's the checkbox content control box. So all you have to do is wherever you've got a row that you wanna insert a checkbox, you can click it and it will insert the checkbox there. It won't let you highlight, I wish it would let you highlight, you know, 20 rows at a time and just put them all in. Uh, so you just have to individually do it and that will put in checkboxes for you as well. You know, in some cases you might want to create a table and have a box within a table that you could check. You can also do that quite easily in Word. So you just do the normal functions of how you would create a table and then inside uh, the box that you want, you can insert the checkbox. So for example, if I wanted to create a uh, table, and if I go down maybe a little bit, insert table, and you say how big you want uh, the table to be. So maybe you want it to be four rows, five rows. And uh, if you were gonna type something, you could type it. Uh, if you, you, know, you wanna adjust it, of course, in the table view, you can uh, adjust these. Maybe you wanna have a yes and no sort of situation going where you put yes at the top and you go to the next one, you go no, and then maybe you wanna say uh, uh, spell check, right? You could insert inside here, you could insert that same checkbox that we did over on the other one and you could go to the next one and insert that checkbox. And then when you go out of it, you definitely have if you click on it, it puts an X in it, right? So anything that you click on, it'll put the X in it. So it's easy to check off that way. Uh, makes it very easy to uh, keep it in your regular MS Office uh, folders. You could have a create a folder that you could have all of your checklists in. That's what I have on my iPad. I have about uh, 30 different checklists that are readily available to me. 
and it will be very helpful tool for you in that respect. And of course, you you know you could save it as a version for a particular project that you checked it, uh, or you could just unselect uh, the various ones and start again if you're creating another checklist. I uh, did this for MS Project, and if you kind of want to see how it works, uh, a checklist in action. At the end of this video, you should see a little box come up and I'll have the MS Project uh, checklist uh, that you can click on and see how it's used in action. So hopefully this simple thing will help you create checklists in very regular software. I'm Tom Stevenson for Project Management Tips, wishing you a wonderful day and please don't forget to click subscribe, add comments how you use checklists or the types of checklists that you find really helpful and help us build this community together. Click the like and the notifications and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.